Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Says the duck. <laughs> noisy ducks, noisy geese. The goats are yelling. It's chilly this morning, it's about 65 degrees. And uh, I know that's not chilly for a lot of people in the country, but here in Georgia, it's, it's a cool morning compared to what we're used to. Uh, I'm into this uh, nuke that was a two-framer. You can see I still got the two-framer leaning up against it here uh, a couple weeks ago or a week ago. I went ahead and moved it to a five-frame. So I want to show you what it's doing and also explain to you what happens as the daylight gets less and less and we get more into fall and cooler weather. Uh, I tried to wait here until the daylight comes up a little bit better so you could see the eggs. Uh, she's still laying. She's still laying good. She slowed down. And what happens? She naturally slows down. And then those bees will backfill and beat her to because she's slowing down. So they get the opportunity to put in more uh, nectar. You can see the, the nectar right here that they're bringing in from the goldenrod. And the queen is right there. If you remember, just in case you haven't, uh, don't in, just in case you don't know about this queen, this is a queen that was in the cage for three weeks before she got released. Um, she was a, a queen that we intended on selling, and she got put in a cage, and we just never did uh, sell her. So. As she got about a week old, we, we wouldn't sell her because uh, that's that's too long to keep a queen to sell it to a customer, and we don't do that. So uh, during that time, I uh, had some health issues, and she just never got put, put out in the yard. So, But anyway, just in case you hadn't heard that story, I just wanted to update you on that. So that's that queen. So... She has definitely slowed down. So what we got right here in this nuke is basically two full frames of bees and, and a part of another one. But uh, also remember too, in the previous video, this hive here in that two frame when I moved her had about a half a cup of bees. Uh, it was a, a colony that had failed to mate a queen and it had dwindled down to about a half a cup of bees. So that's what we started off on. And they've built up and then plus I've helped build them up by adding capped brood from other colonies to help boost them along. But as I can see right here, I can see where they're backfilling with honey and she has definitely slowed down so stinger my finger so what we need to do i need to continue to look and to get another frame from a stronger colony and and i also have a couple frames that i'm going that i'm going to trade out because i have a couple here that's that's not even drawn out at all so let me go find another frame to put in there and i'll be right back okay here's what i did i found a donor frame from another colony that was pretty strong and i shook the bees off and a handful of them stuck on there mostly nurse bees a lot of them are dusty light colored and that won't be a problem they usually are the ones that hold on the tightest, so they're not going to be an issue. We'll put them right in there with the, the hive. No problem, won't hurt a thing. And what we'll do, here's our other frame that had come out that had a few cat broods still hatching off. And also what I'm going to do, I found another frame that's not been used they have been set out for a while and i'm going to drop it in there so now 
but colony's got 100% drawed out comb. So, and then I still have another extra here to spare for another colony somewhere. So, you know, the experiment was here to try to get this thing built up pretty strong by the end of fall, or by the end, let's say the end of October. So we'll see what we what we end up with. And it, that's why it always pays to have extra colonies. I try to get that in people's heads about, uh, if you plan on having one beehive, you're probably gonna be set up for a big, big failure. Uh, I always tell people to double what you want. And that's for backup. And for, for situations just like this, okay? <clears throat> that queen, say if, if we didn't have another hive to help boost this one up, it would have never had got built up in time. A half a cup of bees is worthless <laughs> in September and October for sure with a queen. It doesn't matter how good a queen she is. I, I, I mean, uh, but, but a half a cup of bees, she won't hardly lay. Even if she is a high-end queen, she just won't hardly lay because she's got to have the bees to back it up. So that's why I try to get in people's heads. If you want to raise five colonies of bees for honey, raise you 10. They don't have to all be super double, triple deeps, but they're for backup. And I try to get in people's heads too to, to, rate, to get you some of these uh, two framers and run you about five of these with a with an extra queen in it all the time so you can raise your own queens when you need queens you got them you're uh, self-sustainable you don't have to go order one and i try to get people to do that so they always have backups and they'll always have resources to go to just like i did just now went into another colony pulled out a frame it will help boost this one up you can use bees to help each other out so that's about it for today. I just wanted to put out a, a nice Sunday video. This is Saturday morning, and I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll have this video out for tomorrow, which is uh, Sunday, the October 12th, I believe. So, so that's about it, folks. Don't forget, uh, don't forget, sh help share our videos, please. We're trying to get these out to the new beekeepers. Uh, we're still trying to get out two videos a week, and. Uh, that's about it. Don't forget, click on the little bell, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Beast.